Long before the dolls in Toy Story were creeping around behind Andy's back and probably murdering people, there was an entirely different Andy who had an entirely different doll that was definitely murdering people. And who was this Andy's ferocious fun-sized figurine? Chucky. And he might just be the greatest movie maniac of all time. But you don't just have to take our word for it. I'm you can... one of the most notorious slashers in history. No, yeah, okay, no, we I get it. I am Chucky, the killer dog. Yeah, we understand it. Hey, it. shut the f*** up, let me do this. Okay, stop us if you've heard this one before. A widowed mom is raising her lonely six-year-old son Andy alone in, nope, wrong Toy Story. Anyhow, a single mother in a big city just wants her poor kid to contort his face into something resembling a smile on his birthday, so she procures for him the season's hot new toy, a good guy doll from 1988's version of eBay, aka a filthy drifter in an alley. It turns out, though, the doll is possessed by the soul of psycho serial killer Charles Lee Ray. Ray terrorized Chicago using culturally misappropriated voodoo rituals to kill dozens of people. The cops eventually cornered him in a toy store, and his only recourse was to use one of his questionable cultural borrowings to swap his spirit into the nearest plastic plaything. Next thing he knows, he's freaking Chucky, and he's stuck with the saddest, clingiest child in the entire Midwest. <laughs> Good for you, Chucky. His real name is Charles Lee Ray, and he's been sent down from heaven by Daddy to play with me. What? You don't believe Chucky belongs on Mount Slashmore? Guys like Freddy and Jason and Michael Myers tower over him, you say? Well, you're right about that last part, of course, because he's very small. But if you think Chucky doesn't belong with the horror greats, then we only have one answer for you. Stick it up your In the late 80s, slasher movies took on a more supernatural feel, and Chucky, the killer doll from Child's Play, has been menacing moviegoers ever since. And he was an instant smash because no matter what generation you're from, there was a toy you simply had to get your rotten mitts on. From Furbies and Beanie Babies in the 90s, to a hot tin cup of beans and a dirty stick that kind of looks like a gun in the 50s, these must-have gifts have always caused your parents to hate you. Chucky, a chilling product of the 80s, was a maniacal mashup of Cabbage Patch Kids, Teddy Ruxpin, and most importantly, My Buddy Dolls. Yes, surprisingly, these cursed objects were all allowed in people's homes at one point. As was Chucky, who, before Steve Rogers and Bucky were with each other till the end of the line, was, well... I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho <laughs> Problem was, the Chucky in Chucky immediately hated being Chucky. He also wasn't too keen on hearing that he'd be trapped in the doll permanently if he didn't shove his spirit into the first person who learned he was real. In this case, Dickensian waif, Andy. So, Chucky spent several movies trying to possess Andy and then later other sad sack children, so that he, like Pinocchio if Pinocchio beat teachers to death with the ruler, could be a real boy. And through the years, Chucky murdered many, many, many people in ways that were either deemed accidents or got placed squarely on the shoulders of his victims because all Chucky had to do when cornered was... After three Child's Play movies, Chucky got a tonal makeover in 1999's Bride of Chucky, which went full tilt black comedy and brought Jennifer Tilly in as Charles Lee Ray's old flame Tiffany. Tiffany would become a doll herself. She and Chucky would have a wildly uncomfortable doll doing it session, and Tiffany would give birth to something this guy was not at all psyched to see. It was a lot like any classic love story, like Jane Austen or Emily Bronte, just with way more stabbing, like a concerning amount of stabbing. Nobody leaves me. In 2004's Seed of Chucky, the franchise went batch wackadoodle when the dollacious duo tried to possess the bodies of Jennifer Tilly and Redman, both portraying themselves. And Tilly wound up being taken over by the doll she voices, so Tiffany the doll exists now as in-world Jennifer Tilly. Look, it's a lot. The series hopped back in the horror saddle after this, but does that mean Seed of Chucky never happened? Nope. It all happened. Aside from the 2019 remake of the original, which is its own damn thing, all seven Chucky films are one story. It's all the same continuity. That's very rare in the horror genre. And all of the films from the first Child's Play to 2017's Cult of Chucky were written by the same guy, Don Mancini. And there's even a TV series coming to sci-fi that's, yes, also from Mancini. Chucky's freaking had one creative director since the facts of life went off the air. Also, not to slight Mark Hamill in the remake, but Chucky's had one voice, Brad Dourif. 
who's never met a sweaty psycho role he didn't play with sweaty psycho gusto. And his daughter, Fiona Duroff, she joined the saga in the last decade to go toe to toe with her dad as a foe. And the little kid who played Andy, he came back too. All we're saying is that if you enjoy consistency and franchises that get crazier over the years while still remembering all their history, then these are the fast and furious of terrible toys that try to jab your junk movies. You can shoot Chucky, melt him down, pop his head open, light him on fire, chop him up. Gah! For the last time, this is not Toy Story. But like the Energizer Bunny, he keeps going and going, which is a reference to an ad campaign that's exactly as old as this franchise. Also, like bunnies, Chucky can multiply now, and that reference is as old as, I don't know, mammals on Earth? How long Bunny's been doing it? Anyway, Chucky's the best ever, to infinity and beyond. God damn it, it's contagious. Don't f with the Chuck. What do you think? Is there any movie slasher greater than Chucky? Who? Tell us your pick right down there in the comments. Don't get mad when we call you stupid. Thanks for watching, and for more spooky stuff, here's why Freddy Krueger might be the greatest slasher of all time, and don't forget to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.